deal with Jade Cargill here, man. Uh, she came out on Raw, had a squash match against Chelsea Green. Two moves. And one is a really quick bicycle kick or whatever, big boot. And then her finishing move. And I guess the third move is her licking her hand. That's like a, you know how we have the Kevin Nash hair flip. I guess that's her hair flip in a sense. Oh. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> Kenny, like come on, man. <laughs> Distracting. Us. But yeah, man, I don't know what they're doing. Is this supposed to be like the Goldberg build? Where she's going to just be doing these squash matches back to back to back to back to back. It's either no. that or they don't believe in her right now. They don't think she's ready because something's going on. She had a little bit of time in there at WrestleMania, but you know what? You know, a first match, whatever, go ahead and get out there and do your thing. But for them to bring her out on Raw to be seen, of course, but to just do two moves, bro kick, jaded, get her out of there. I mean, we saw her go in AEW. She can definitely go. She's not the best in the world, but, you know, that's not what you expect to get from her because we know where she is. I just don't know what it is and what WWE is seeing where they're like, uh, we want to hide that. Uh, Brian, what do you think? I don't think I, I there were reports within uh, the night that her match was going to get cut. I think it has nothing to do with confidence. I think it's more to do with they just kind of threw her out there to give the, the audience uh, a surprise um, with Jade. Uh, I just think that there wasn't enough time, man. So they were like, get in, get out and, you know, just give her the match. It could have been better. Could have gotten more time. I mean, you have three hours. So if yeah. you can't make, you know, eight, ten minutes for the women, then there's a problem. So yeah. uh, that's just that that's just my uh, those are just my thoughts with that. I mean, I, I think it was more time issue than confidence issue. I think okay. it's going to keep developing over the next couple of weeks because it seems now they've gotten to the point where they're like, OK, we're comfortable putting her on TV. Now, how are her matches going to go? Are we If we continue getting these type of matches throughout the next couple of weeks where it's just 30 second matches, then we already know what it is. They're not confident. But if. Mm -hmm. th the fact they were confident, uh, confident and comfortable enough to put her in this match today, um, I think it's a good sign. And I think it was just a time issue in general. I don't know. I don't think it's a good sign. I mean, confidence to put her on TV. They got her presentation and everything down, so she comes to the ring. She looks great with her entrance and everything, but I could go out there and pull off that match she just pulled off. Never did a wrestling oh, match in my life. Come on, I Kenny. can do exactly what she did. And yeah. if you put me in there and to do it a hundred times, you can make me the next Goldberg in the business. So I don't know. You got a fair point because that's usually why they do these type of squash matches is because the person that does the squashing is just not ready. I mean, you saw it with Ryback, you know what I mean? Once he started going in long matches, uh, it was not the greatest sometimes. Like it took him a while. Uh, any other big guy, really. I think Ryback is a... Kind of a bad example because i think even though he's a crazy character he was you know halfway decent in the ring but yeah like jade cargill the biggest thing has been ever since she came to the wwe admitted by triple h also in Wait. person uh, that she's just green she's just green you know she just needs more and more and more work but you know she had what one or two years in aew and it's been almost a year now where they've just been kind of teasing her you know what i mean like you do you guys remember the emma Lina? stuff or we're oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep wanting he wanted to come all the time and he just didn't arrive he just didn't come man for so yeah. long and <laughs> like that's starting to feel like that with to me with jake Cargill. sure we saw her entrance sure she came out and did a match but like when is she really actually you know gonna actively participate in storylines and come to the main roster because like i said this in our uh, review video for wrestlemania too or live stream is that nia Jax could have been a perfect opponent even if it was a shorter match than the normal ones mm -hmm. but they still decided to say all right let's protect the hell out of her and put her in that tag team match so i do think um it's more maybe the time had something to do with it like you said brian but i think it's more so they just don't trust her in the ring right now and i think i have the same sense of scaredness when i watch her talk when I like, and I have this same feeling when I watch Swerve too. I feel like she is confident, she is halfway there, but she can also mess up at any time, just like Swerve. So uh, it's interesting. And just like Swerve, I think she is actually good in the ring. Like in AEW, was she perfect? No. But like, there's a lot of good women's wrestlers in, in the WWE roster that you can pair her up with that can, you know, hide her weaknesses. But I will commend the WWE on this though the fact that they're holding on so much, hopefully not too long because that's a problem. But hopefully when they show her off rather sooner than later they show her off to the best of her abilities because we keep saying this all of us the first impressions are everything and if they yeah. mess up once like that's 
you know, once your name is out there as anything but a good wrestler, then you're going to have to work your whole career, whole career to fight against that. And you don't want that. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. And I don't know about the time thing, because if you got a shiny new toy that does a lot of cool tricks, mm. you want to make time to show that toy. But if you're like, yeah, this toy, you know what? We could kind of brush it up a little bit more. So let's show them. Right. But we're not going to show them all the tricks yet because there's still work to be done. I think that's where she is right now. I think there's still work to be done, but still loads of potential. Just yes. keep her in there with Bianca. Let them run the roles together. So she can learn the ropes or whatever, because I think that's where the destination has to be next year. You want Bianca, you want Jade, one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania. Last thing I'll say, Triple H always says, good things come to those who wait. So mm -hmm. we'll wait, Triple H. We'll see what you got.